Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we've got some more Pokemon uh, Legends ZA info to go over, and we've got some more beta sprites to go over. But before we get into this video, um, I'm going to listen to it back, but hopefully this audio is better. I've had a few people talk about the audio being too quiet. I've done a bit of tweaking, and uh, hopefully this is better. But uh, yeah, we'll have to see. But anyway, if you're going to enjoy this video, be sure to give a like, subscribe if you are brand new, and let's just jump right on into it. So, first things first, this is to do with the release date of Pokemon Legends ZA. Uh, most of the stuff is from Riddler Koo, obviously known uh, leaker, who leaked everything for Legends Arceus and Scarlet and Violet. And he says, I'm wondering why not a single screenshot of Ikaku, which is Legends ZA, uh, has got leaked. A few groups have already browsed some. So that is basically saying a few groups on the internet have already seen some photos of Legends ZA. Even though the leaker said they haven't shared it, but obviously there are other leakers. And it says the original launch window is between A and J. I have no idea if they would do any adjustments because of the leak, which is really interesting. So obviously A and J is April to June or April to July um, the, for the original launch window for... Um, Legend ZA. Obviously, the other months you've got is August, but August to July, it won't make sense uh, in the year. So it's April to June or July. I'm assuming it's going to be um, June, purely because Ku said before early early 2025, which obviously is, uh, you know, June. July is basically like the middle. Uh, the again, is June still like the middle. Um, so we'll have to see. But that's a cool, nice little insight to a potential release date for the games that we kind of already knew. But um, it's just kind of a bit more of confirmation of that. But it could potentially be delayed. We won't know it's been delayed because obviously there's been no release date. But they can always push it back internally and give us a later date because of these leaks. But at the moment, nothing for Legends EA has actually been leaked by the leaker, to my knowledge. So I don't think that is something we have to worry about as of right now. Uh, up next, Ku says, should we prepare some riddles? about new megas or the starters or other stuff that you are interested in so obviously we're going to be getting some pretty cool new riddles from Q to go over <laughs> someone says now we're good we've waited long enough you don't mind waiting any longer obviously that's just a joke um Matt Pisk some guys he hear me saying well the leak could be a bomb that ruins everything so to see and then he says uh, is the sky blue never been there which obviously saying, is the sky blue? Yeah, we obviously the answer is yes. So obviously it's like, yes, of course it is. Like, uh, of course you want uh, new Pokemon rumors and uh, riddles. And he's gone and uh, tweeted one. So this is a our mega puzzle. We already, it's already been sold and we already know the answer to it. But uh, it says, your mega puzzle enjoy. And it's a Poliwag, a Paras, a Pidgey, a Tentacool, and a Caterpie. I had... No idea um, what this could have been. Literally, just this photo. And it says the correct answer and its process has shown up. And obviously, it's a puzzle. And uh, this is the answer right here, um, as you can see here. Uh, and then Q says it's unfinished second step, though. But obviously, it is. Um, the other steps are correct. So. Um, yeah, the answer is Rogue uh, for the answer. So we're going to get a Rogue Mega. I don't know what that means. But uh, step one, the answer is... Um, oh, here we go. So it's, here we go. So the whole thing's out here now. It's the guys, it's Pokedex number is less plus with one of the prime numbers position. And the letter in the answer is one. So 60, the Pokedex number 60, 46, 16, 72, and 10. Because obviously this is the photo here. We can figure this out. Caterpie is dex number 10. Tentacle. So, yeah, they're just, they're just going through the dex numbers for the Pokemon. And then you add one to um, the answer to step number one. And then you have um, its prime number position. So, the prime number is a number that can be divided by itself from one. So, 60 in prime number is number 18. And then 46 is number 15. And obviously, you get all those letters and. Um, there were the prime numbers up to 73. And obviously, uh, the, the prime number positions correlate to a letter of the alphabet. 
which is um, Rogue. So, um, yeah, I don't know what Rogue is. Um, obviously, some people, some people are saying here, like, Jinx, because obviously it's, like, Regal sort of thing. And um, obviously, we all know Zygarde's getting a Mega, so it could be to do that. It could also be Tyrogue. Um, a lot of people are saying Crawdorn. I don't understand why Crawdorn could get a Mega, but um, apparently a lot of people are saying Crawdorn. When I say see Rogue, I think of like Armor Rouge because it's got it in the name, or like a Rogue Knight, which will be like um, a Bi Sharp or like a Knight Pokemon, you know, like Cerulea, different like that. But quite a lot of people are saying Crawdorn, and honestly, um, I, I I don't. I don't see why. Um, obviously, this is a big one here, but I don't know much about that. So, no, we'll talk about that just yet. But, um, yeah, and the answer is obviously Rogue. But, um, yeah, I don't understand um, why um, and what that could be. But, uh, yeah, a uh, new thing has been coming out. And a lot of people are saying it's going to be uh, Crawdont. So, uh, yeah, that is that. So uh, that's pretty cool. And up next, we've got some beta sprites. We've got two little beta sprites. Nothing major, but two beta sprites here to go over. We've got an early design of Mega Gengar. And I, you can tell it's different, but not much different. I mean, I don't like it, <laughs> to be honest. But, um, you know... It's a thing, and it's just it's Gengar with a hair gel and a banana sticker on his forehead, and yeah, you're not wrong. Um, so yeah, that is the uh, early design for Mega Be Mega Bengar, Mega Gengar. Obviously, that is just um, the beta sprite for Mega Gengar in X and Y. Looks very Robloxy to be honest, but I don't know. I haven't seen this from anybody. It's uh, from the Freak League, so who knows. And up next, finally, that's what we're going to cover. This is a early map of the Hoenn region, which is kind of cool. Um, obviously, uh, so there's not enough water. So obviously, if we look at it, not really much is here. There's just like loads of blank spaces. Uh, I don't know what that is. What the blank spaces are. I don't really know the whole map very much, well. But I know you've got Rossboro there. I mean, these are just like areas that haven't been like made yet into stuff. Obviously, you've got like Stark Mountain and is not Stark Mountain, um, Reverse or whatever the mountain is there, Mount Magma even. And then you've got this, um, I think this is Pacific Log. I'm pretty sure on the bottom there that's not been done. And obviously, yeah, I think this is the Indigo Plateau. <laughs> I don't actually know. Um, and a lot of water. But uh, yeah, this is an early map of the Hoenn region. Oh, like I said, I don't really remember. I don't really know Hoenn. To be honest, I just know it's got a lot of water. Um, but uh, yeah, what do you think about this in the comment section down below? Uh, let me know your thoughts. And let me know your thoughts on the early design for Mega Gengar. And all the uh, this new Mega puzzle, which the Mega could be. Please leave a comment because you guys will probably know and help clear some stuff up that I won't have clicked on as of recording. And um, yeah, your thoughts on... Um, the potential release date for Legends ZA. Let me know your thoughts and everything covered in the comments of this video. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe if you are brand new. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in a bit.